we have this hurricane delta and they said that probably it was category four we said okay the hurricane is coming we have shelters for farm animals we have shelters for the pigs for the chickens etc but for the dogs we don't have enough hurricane proof shelters the first thing that i thought it's let's put all the dogs inside there was nothing else in my mind. I started the sanctuary 10 years ago, but I have been rescuing animals my whole life. So I had to do it. It's a big job because you have 300 dogs that not all of them are friendly or are used to be on a leash, for example. Usually they live separated in different areas. When you put all these dogs, some of them, they don't know each other. In one place that they don't know, they behave, at least for some hours. I know the animals. So we use all the day to bring all the dogs, almost 300 in the house. And they were confused, you know, hearing all the noise outside. But actually they were super, super good. And I got used my daughter's bedroom to put all the small uh, species like baby chickens, a hedgehog, little turtles, like all these tiny creatures. In my uh, son's bathroom, we put almost all the cats. And by the night, we were ready. I mean, as much as you can be for a hurricane. It's hard to sleep when you know that a hurricane is coming, you know, and that you have the responsibility of so many souls, not only my family and my kids, but all these animals. Of course, in the house, it was a big poop disaster and dogs destroying things. But at the end, we were so lucky. The nature was benevolent with us. We are all safe and sound after the storm. Nothing happened to any one of us. Any animals that we live in the sanctuary, we are all safe. And that's why we don't regret anything at all. We did it right. But still, it's hard. The last part of the hurricane made a lot more damage in the whole property. I have to be honest, it's very disappointing. I mean, you have been working for a decade trying to make this place a, a nice place for the animals, a nice place for people to come and, and feel that they are in something that dignify the animals. But you have to try to, to put everything again in its place. And that's what we started to do the next day. All of us, like the workers, the volunteers and my family it's a lot of work but in some other areas of course there are absolutely beautiful things one of the beautiful things of course is to help the animals we want to spread the message uh, of respect and justice uh, compassion and, and empathy towards every single species of animals in the world. Everyone is welcome here. Our doors are open, literally, because the gate is broken. <laughs> no, we're, we're fixing it. 